hello 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 and welcome to love what you do with me sarah grenell okay are you hearing crickets on your facebook lives or your videos well today i'm going to give you three tips to help prevent that from happening and increase engagement so if you're just popping on then please say hi and where you're coming from i'd love to uh, give you a shout out and say hello okay so how can you increase your viewership on your facebook lives so you're all working hard you're putting in your um your daily con content you're doing your facebook lives um, I hope you're doing these. I really, really do hope you're doing your Facebook Lives. I've spoken about how beneficial uh, these lives are um, to your business and that they are the biggest reach um, you can do. They give the biggest reach on all social media platforms. So I do hope that you are doing Facebook Lives. Um, now you need to maximise these lives and get as uh, many views as possible so how can you do that if you drop if you are doing lives and then, then already then just just drop me one down below and let and let me know um okay so how can you get as many views as possible okay well the first one that matters and it's a biggie and it's your title so it's the title of your Facebook Live. So you need you need to be enticing your audience to watch, um, and especially with a problem that you are going to solve for them. Okay, um, if that's making sense to you, then then, then drop me a two. Um, now this is where you need to know how to craft. Sorry, I'm, I'm looking at my notes. This is where you need to know how to craft a great title. So it, it comes down to knowing your audience, so knowing your, uh, your target audience, the pains, the problems, and, and their desires um, to be able to craft a good title um, to speak about and to speak, speak to them about, okay? And if you're unsure what your audience is, then I did a live uh, quite a while back now, so Go ahead and uh, go back and, and watch that to find out how to target your audience. Um, but yes, you need to know how to how to target your audience uh, and attract your audience and how best to serve them. Hi Ray, thank you. <laughs> and how best to serve them? Okay. And then you need to you need to test your titles. Okay. Um, so. You do a Facebook Live. Did it work? Did it get views? Um, now, a great te a great tool, a great tool for doing this is um, it's on your fan page. If you've got a fan page or a business page, then you have what is called insights, and this uh, oh, it's a, a, a really, really, really good tool if you're if you're into marketing and marketing your business, um, and it lets you know when people are watching. It lets you know how long they've watched for, if they've watched for three seconds, six seconds, nine sec seconds, etc. Um, and how much engagement you're getting, how many shares you're getting. Now, if you're not building um, your business on a, on a fan page or a business page, then you, you will have to do it on, on your personal profile and you just have to look at your actual post and, and just write down how many shares you've got, how many views you've got, how much engagement you've got, etc. Um, but you need to be evaluating these continuously so if you've had a title that didn't work or a, or a facebook live that didn't work write that down didn't work try evaluate that and then go on and uh, change it and try it with a different title and um, to see if it, if it gets more engagement so you need to be um learning from this and and looking to what works best for you what works for somebody else might not work for you all right, so it's what works for you. And it is all about testing and finding the right strategy. If you're already doing this, fantastic. Drop me a three below um, and let me know. Right, the second tip is, uh, excuse me, I'm really, really thirsty. The second tip is your intro. All right, this is really, really, really important and I'm still working on it. I'm still new at doing Facebook Lives, okay? 
Um, but the more the more you do, the more confident you get with doing them and, and the better your intro is going to be. Um, and why do you need a good intro? Well, us as human beings have a very, very short um, attention span. And apparently it's less than a fish. So it's, about seven, it's less than seven seconds, all right? So you've got to be able to grab somebody's attention and hold it um, while, while you're doing your, your actual live. So your, in, your, your title has to be um, targeting your audience and the pains, the desires, uh, the problems. And then your intro, you need to hold their attention while you do your Facebook Live to keep them watching. All right. Um, and so, somebody's told me this. Right, uh, so as, as you do it, you right away, you, you say your title again to... So let them know, let your audience know that is what you're talking about, okay? Um, and a lot of a lot of your a lot of your views are not going to be from people watching you live. They are going to be from replays. So you need you need a good intro straight away. Otherwise, they're just going to watch for three six seconds and then pff, they're gone. They've gone. You've lost them. All right. If you're watching on replay, drop me a hashtag replay. All right. You also need to um, you also need to speak like you're talking to just just the one person, which at the moment I'm finding really really difficult because I'm a teacher and I do talk to a whole group. I talk to twenty plus students at a time. I am finding talking to just one person on a live quite difficult. All right. Um, and it is it is a diff, it is a difficult transition, and it's one that I'm working on. Okay, but lives are very very personal, so you've got to you've got to do them so that you're talking to just 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 the one person individually. If this is making any, any sense to you and you're getting value, then then drop me um, drop me an emoji. I like the fire emoji. Drop me a fire emoji. Right, the third one and the last tip is how to boost and collect engagement. Okay, so if you're boosting and collecting engagement, you're increasing your, your viewership on your lives. So you, you like your own, uh, your own publicist, okay? So um, on your lives, you can do things, and I've just been doing them all through, through my life so far, is ask questions, Questions that need an answer, either a short answer, numbers, emojis, etc. Okay, and the, these these work better than long answers because you can't read long answers. All right, so that's that's your first one. Drop me a four if you understand uh, about asking questions and getting your audience to drop comments below. Okay, this the the next one is paid engagement, and this is in the form of boosting your lives to, to your target audiences. Now, um, you can only do this from a fan page or a business page, because um, that is like a pay to play platform, um, so to speak, that Facebook lets you boost your uh, videos and your content to target audiences. And if you're already doing this, fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Drop me a five if you're already doing this. If you're building on your personal profile, then it's um, it's a little bit more difficult, but I, I do recommend you, you do have a fan page or a business page if you're starting up a, a, a business. Um, but um, on your on your personal page, you can anybody that's already engaged in your Facebook Live, then you can actually go and engage with them and comment with them and, and just say um, invite them to like your fan page. Um, or right at the very end of you doing your live, you can do a call to action. If you like this, if um, this has been a beneficial to you, then please pop over to my fan page and, and like my fan page. So, something like those. Now shares, shares are a really, really great way to boost your engagement. And if you're doing lives, um, like myself, you're probably your worst own critic and you don't like sharing your own stuff. Um, but you're going to get haters. Doesn't matter who you are, you can be the, the most professional person out there. Um, 
you can be a star and you will still get haters so haters are gonna hate all right but you don't need everybody to like you you just need that someone all right and that is that person is the someone that you are you are targeting okay you are talking to that one person so um you have a business to run so yes you've got to share you've got to do this and you've got to go live otherwise um you're not going to build your business online successfully you have to be doing facebook lives to build your business online so you can share from your fan page to a group to your profile page um but do not please 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 do not share your stuff spam your stuff in groups that you're in on other people's profiles that is a big big no no big big no no do not spam other people if somebody has asked a question in any of those groups or, or uh, any of your friends and family have asked a, uh, asked a group uh, a question uh, something like how do I go live what what do I need to do then you can just comment hey I did a, I did a Facebook live on, on this last week do you mind if I if I share it with you okay but do not spam and the very last thing for um, engagement is a call to action always remember when you are doing a Facebook live or even in your posts to do a call to action okay um, for example, if you have any questions, drop them below. I'd love to chat. If you've got any value from this, then please spread the love. If you would like more inf information, let me know. Let me know below. Uh, or while I have you here, I don't know if you are interested, but I have a 10 day free bootcamp video series. Drop me a yes below if that is of any interest to you. And that is it that is your three tips to get more viewership on your uh, facebook lives if you are hearing crickets so we've got one your title has to be a pain problem or a desire and targeted to, to your audience your intro you've got to keep them you've got to you've got to catch them and engage them in in the first few seconds and number three collect engagement by all those uh, that i've said um so as always and here is one of my collect engagements as always if you've got any value from this then please 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 spread the love with friends family teammates anybody who you think will benefit from this training and if you have any questions um or thoughts on this topic or anything that i have spoken about or posted on my page then please let me know um i would love to chat with you have a fantastic Wednesday evening and I'll see you again soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.